Hi and welcome. This video is designed to help you fill in Section A of your 2017 Annual Information Statement. Section A covers a lot of basic but important charity information. Information contained in answers to questions in this section of the Annual Information Statement will appear on the Charity Register unless the ACNC has approved a request from you that specific details be withheld from public view. Because of this, it's important that you get this information correct. Now, all the information you'll see here is for a fictitious charity. It doesn't belong to an actual organisation. So, let's get started. On the screen here is the ACNC's new 2017 Annual Information Statement Hub. To begin work on your 2017 Annual Information Statement, you can click on the Submit 2017 AIS Form button and log into the ACNC's charity portal. Once you've logged in, you will see some important information you should read before starting work on your annual information statement. Do take the time to read through this information and to bookmark it or take note of the links featured, as all of it will help you easily and accurately complete your reporting. Once you've done this, scroll down to the green Start Your 2017 AIS button, click on it, and you'll be taken to the form itself and into Section A, Charity Information. At this point you may notice that some of your questions have information already entered in as responses. This pre-filling draws on information provided in previous Annual Information Statement submissions. However, if the pre-filled information is incorrect, you can of course change it. Also, as you complete questions, your form may take a moment to update each time. Allow it to do so before continuing. If your charity is known by any names other than those that appear in Question 2, such as a trading name or an acronym, you can click the Add Other Name link to add them to your record in Question 3. Check that the address listed in Question 4a is the formal address to which you want the ACNC to send correspondence, your address for service. You will be asked to provide an email address, which we can contact you on. We suggest an email address that you will check regularly. Question 4b asks for details for your charity's primary contact person. These details will not appear on the charity register. Question 5 asks for your charity's contact details. These are the details you want the public to use to contact your charity. It is important to note the difference between this and the details you provide at question 4a. You can, of course, use the same details for both if it suits. Question 6 is about the size of your charity based on its annual revenue for the 2017 reporting period. All you need to do is choose the revenue bracket your charity belongs to. For example, if your charity's annual revenue is less than $250,000, you would choose small. It's really important that you get this question right. Depending on your choice, many of the questions you will be asked throughout the remainder of the annual information statement will vary. Getting it wrong can also see your charity over-report or under-report when completing its reporting. For further guidance, refer to the 2017 Annual Information Statement Guide or to www acnc.gov.au forward slash charity size. Question 7 will determine whether your charity is classified as a basic religious charity. This question will be available to those charities whose subtype is solely set as advancing religion. If your charity is not registered as advancing religion, this question will not appear. And if your charity is registered as advancing religion in addition to other subtypes, this question will again not appear. You can see your charity's subtypes listed on the Charity Register. If your charity meets the definition of a basic religious charity, it does not need to answer any of the financial information questions in Section D of the Annual Information Statement. And that brings us to the end of Section A. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the blue Save button. To move on to Section B, click the Next Page button. For more information on this section of the Annual Information Statement, refer to the guide and other resources at the Annual Information Statement Hub. That's at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 AIS. The Hub also includes other videos in this series. And as always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.